Welcome, this is Shelley with the Putnam County Library. And today we're going to look at Google Drive. And as a reminder, this is being brought to you by the um, Guiding Ohio Online Grant. And we are offering these uh, sessions online since we still are not able to provide in-person uh, trainings at the library. With this today, I have a slide presentation that was created with Google that I will be putting um, up to the bit.ly slash learn on online with Putnam Library uh, web, web page that's available as well. So I'm going to go off of the screen for a minute. I'm going to go back here to where if you were, you would log into your Google um, account. You can do this by going simply to google.com slash drive if you want, or if you have a shortcut or um, just create it on your um, computer, you could do that as well. So I'm going to go to go to drive and I'm already logged in. So it's pop. It's bringing up my account and what I want to look at first is to talk about go back here and with Google, you the drive, it's the cloud storage that Google provides, and you can have your docs, your sheets, your slides, your photos are all stored there. And this is free for up to um, 15 gigs of storage. When you go beyond the 15 gigs of storage, then you will um, end up having a, a fee that you can pay if you choose to have more um, information stored. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the different, the view and the look of Drive. So when you have your Drive account pulled up, the Drive account, just like the other apps, is found under your nine dots here. And this is where Drive is located. And what I see here is I see my quick access across the top and my names um, down below with my folders, as well as my different types of documents that aren't in folders. This is um, the, um, the first view, and then you also have your grid view. So it's kind of a matter of personal choice, the grid view or the list view is how you can choose how you what kind of look you would like to see. Over on the left hand side is where you see your drive, but notice here if someone ever says, well, I shared it with you in Google, that would come up here with shared with me. This is where you're going to see anything that someone else has shared and then you'll notice out here to the side, those have different names on them versus back here on my drive, I see me because I own them. Again, we have recent. And then the other thing to notice is you have this what's called starred. And when I have um, something, if I click on it and then I want to star it, let's go back here, go back a screen. If I want to make a star, this, I, I make the star actually by, I held down the control key or I right clicked depending on whether you're on a Windows machine or a Mac and I add to start. So then what that does is notice how I have this little star out here. So what happens is, is when I click on start, any documents that I have quote starred that are um, of special to me that that's what shows up. I'm going to go back here to my drive and I do want to make sure you notice too. see how I have this icon here. What this is telling me is, is that I have shared this out with other individuals. So the starred and the shared, and then of course we have the storage and you can see here, um, or the trash, excuse me. And then you can see here the storage. So you can see that this is all the, um, all that I have used and then I could always buy more storage if I would choose. So those are that's the different views. I'm going to go back again. We're going to look at files and folders. Now you can add a file, you can add folders, and then I'm going to talk about the shortcuts. So if I want to add a folder, I'm going to go to new and I could go to folder right here. 
and then all my files show up here and I have more that I can click. So whatever type of, of um, file that I'm making. Notice there's also this file upload as well as folder upload. Keep in mind, I think I had mentioned this in a previous video, you want to make sure that you are using Google Chrome when you do the file uploads and the folder uploads. It works much um, easier if you're using the actual Chrome browser. So looking at the folders, if you click on a folder, you can change the name of the folder and you can do that in a couple of ways. You can click, hold again, hold the control key down on a Mac, uh, right click on a Windows machine, and then notice I can go to uh, rename. So this is how I would rename a folder. And then if I want to do a shortcut, a then I could also have it highlighted. And then what I would do is I would click on the N key on my keyboard, and now it comes up and gives me the ability to rename. Same thing with a document. I can do the same exact thing. I can control or right click, and I'll have the ability to rename, or I can simply click and hold the N key down and rename. The next thing I'm going to look at is with uh, sharing. I talked about these icons here with the actual that look like two people there together. When you have a folder or a document, you can share those out with other people. Now you can highlight it and you can go up here to the um, icon for sharing. You can also have it highlighted and you can control click again and you can then go to share or you can have it highlighted and you can click on the period and now it gives you the ability to share so what I'm going to do is the um, other part of sharing that I want to make sure that you understand is, is there's uh, several different ways to share. You can share with someone that you know for sure has a Google account, or you could do the link, and you could just simply say copy link, and then what happens is is that copied to my clipboard, and then I could go back to my um, email program, and I could paste that link into the email to whoever I want to share with. If I know they have Google and I just want to share it from within Google, I can click and I'm going to go to the first person here on my list. And I am here, notice out to the side as an editor, but she could also get it as a comment, a, a commenter or a viewer. So if I go to commenter, she would be able to do just like it says, make comments. So it's that's kind of helpful to do, like if you have a presentation or a report that you want people to give you suggestions, because it's going to give it's going to bring like a bubble up on the side that they can make comments. If I want them to just strictly view, they're going to be able to see my document. However, what I want to make sure that you understand is with viewing, there are still some more settings here, because if I go to the gear, this person still has the ability, even though they're just viewing, they have the, view it, the ability to actually go to um, download, print, and copy. So they could still download and print and copy my document. So if I don't want them to be able to do that, I'm going to make sure that I uncheck this. And then also notice this is going to send an email and notify that person that, hey, you know, um, Shelly has shared this document with you. Okay. Oops, I got it. And we're going to say done and get out. Okay, the explore icon. This, I believe, um, was also talked about in a previous um, presentation with Word. 
but I want to make sure that um, everyone has is aware of when you're in an actual document. So I'm going to open a document up, and when a document is open, you'll see right down here below there is this little icon that pops up, and it's called Explore. What the Explore button does, it not only goes out and explores on the web, but it explores your actual Google Drive as well. So if I were to type in, I'm just going to type in the word frog here, and I'm going to hit return. Notice it, it is um, going out and searching on the web and giving me information on different at websites concerning frogs. I can also click here with images, and if I click, it brings up the image and I can insert it and it goes into my document. But I can also go to Drive, and so now it's finding a document that has the word frog or something close to that in the document, and it's in my actual Drive folder. Okay, I'm going to go out of this with Explore. I, and the other thing to notice, I went into a document. It opened another tab. That's the one thing when you actually are working in your drive, every time you open a document or a folder, it's going to bring that up in a different tab across the top here. So I'm going to go back to where my drive is at. I'm going to pull the presentation up one more time here. And we're going to look at folders. With folders, we already talked about the share, what that looks like, as well as the star. But it's also, notice how you can have a folder. Here's a folder, for example, that I've changed the color to. So I can click again on the control key, and I can change the color here as well. So I could make this folder stand out as a different color. It, I discussed how you can see that I'm the owner as well as you can tell when a file was last modified. That can be helpful when you're searching for information and notice it always pops up the little arrow out here down and so I can have it last modified, last modified by me, last opened by me. So if I wanted to change it and make it so that whatever was the last thing opened from me, I can search that way, as well as with my different file sizes. Now to write, if you right click and search within a folder, you can find different. So if I Right-click here. I can search within KidPix. So I've got a folder here, and I can do a search and just strictly look for what's within a folder. Now, in this case, I only have one document pulled up that's even within that folder. But if I had, um, let's go back a screen. If I had, let's see, if I've got, if I go to Word page, I believe. And I'm going to I'm going to go to search within word page. Notice what happens is I have all of these different documents that are all within that one folder. So if I were to say, I know I have something in here and it had to do with um, margins, I could type in the word margins and then it's going to search and only find the um, documents that are within my folder that have the word margin somewhere within them. So that can help a lot with my searching. Let's go back a screen here, go back a couple screens. And then the, the last thing I want to look at is with voice typing. Voice typing is another um, tool that I think is probably not used to the ability and a lot of people don't even realize and know that it's there. So I'm going to go back here. If you, 
let's go to new and let's open up a document or create a document excuse me we're going to create a document and we're going to title it let's, oops too many clicks i'm going to title it sample and when i do that then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up here to my tool bar and i am going to go to voice type voice type is not something that would um, automatically uh, be on and so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to have my little microphone that pops up my microphone is is um off currently and you can can tell that it's off because it's the black in color when i click on that wherever i have my cursor on the page it's going to start typing so if i have my cursor here i have my cursor down the page wherever that cursor is flashing that's where my typing will begin so i'm going to click on this and now anything that i say is going to appear on this piece of paper period thank you for watching and learning with our YouTube video here at the Putnam County District Library. Period. So I simply click here on the microphone and my voice recording stops. This is something that has become much better in terms of its ability. And now I could go back and I could make changes if something didn't appear quite correctly um, in terms of what I was saying. And notice when I did get to the end of a sentence, I simply said period, I could have said exclamation, I could have said question, and it would have put that correct punctuation. So again, thank you for watching and learning with us here on, on the library's YouTube channel. We appreciate having you join us. Thank you.